Hey there folks, let's get ready to dive into the exciting world of AI or artificial intelligence and boost your productivity like never before. Artificial intelligence might sound intimidating, but trust me, it's a game changer for your workflow. So grab some popcorn and get comfy because in this video, we're gonna show you how to unleash the power of AI as a beginner, somebody that's never touched it before and who's intimidated by it. And we're also gonna have a lot of fun along the way, just a ton of it, just a bunch of fun. But hold on a second, before we get started, let me give a shout out to our awesome sponsor, MTN. They're hooking us up with some mind blowing uncapped packages that start from just 249 Rand. That's extremely cheap. And guess what? They'll even throw in a free to use router. Now that's what I call a sweet deal. So check out the link in the description or in the pinned comment to see if your neighborhood is covered. Thank you, MTN, for keeping us connected. All right, my AI enthusiasts, let's talk about the top three natural language AI services that are perfect for beginners. These bad boys are gonna make your life easier and your business more successful. First up, we have ChatGPT, the rock star of artificial intelligence. Now there is a free version, but getting it can be a little bit tricky due to server limitations, just getting into the service. The pro tip here is that if you're a paid member, you'll get guaranteed access, but if you're not, you're not guaranteed to be able to use it all the time. But ChatGPT is the backbone of many other AI services, so it's definitely something that you have to try and give a go. Next on the list, we've got Bing. Yes, you've, you've heard me right. I am not messing that up. That's the Bing that Microsoft has made. Bing is super user-friendly and available on your phone. It's like having a personal AI assistant in your pocket at all times. It's so good that I find myself defaulting back to Bing quite often uh, as opposed to all the other services. And if you wanna get a little bit fancy, you can replace that boring old Google search bar widget on your Android phone with the Bing one, uh, which is really easy to use and means that it's quick to access. Last but not least, we've got Bard, Google's shiny new AI that's just stepped into the beta world. To unleash the power of Bard, all you need is a Google account and a nod to their terms and conditions. Bard is like the cool cousin of ChatGPT. It looks sleeker, it's got its own flair, and it's a different natural language AI beast entirely. So it doesn't have ChatGPT under the hood. Sure, it's still in its early stages, but it gets the job done like a champ. There's no official app yet, but hey, we've got a workaround. Just create a shortcut on your phone's home screen and Boom, instant access to Google Bard straight up from your phone. Just to be clear, you can do this with ChatGPT as well, but again, remember, you don't have guaranteed access if you aren't paying. All right, now that you've got your AI squad lined up, let's talk about giving them some orders. We call these magical instructions prompts. It's like teaching your AI buddies how to read your mind. And believe me, it's both mind boggling and hilarious. Depending on what you need, you're gonna to have to pick the right AI for the job. So if you're into creating epic essays, scripts, or blog posts, just huge amounts of text, then ChatGPT and Bard are the ones that you should go to. They'll make your words sing. But be aware, my friends, Bing might let you down in the long form content game. It's like that friend who's great at quick chats, but can't handle the marathon conversations, you know, those deep dive conversations. So you've got to choose the one that's specific for the job. Now, here are some really cool ways I use AI in my daily creative work. So picture this, fleshing out the first draft of a blog post uh, or busting through creative blocks just by brainstorming with an AI pretending they're in the room with you or rewriting a script in a whole new hilarious tone that you you know maybe not necessarily funny from from the beginning and you need your AI to do that for you or even getting AI to help me write those dreaded difficult emails that are hard to script and guess what my current favorite is getting AI to create click-worthy titles and descriptions for my YouTube videos. It's like having an expert with you in the room at the same time. Remember, the best way to use AI is as if AI was your assistant. Not somebody that's gonna do the work for you, but somebody that can help you do the work. And whether it's a human or a computer assistant, you gotta remember that the golden rule is crystal clear instructions bring out the best results. This is where prompt precision shines. Be laser focused on what you want, the length, the tone, and the audience. Don't forget to include any key points that you need AI to tackle. And give them some personality. Tell them to be a YouTuber or pretend that they're MKBHD and the AI will take on that persona and be able to write in that particular creative's tone and give you a, a feel that you want. You can let those AIs channel their own inner actors, you know? They've got it in them. Lastly, if there's anything specific or non-obvious that you need, make sure that you mention it, like explaining jargon for those clueless first-time readers. AI can work miracles, but they're not mind readers yet. 
All right, now that you're equipped with the knowledge to conquer the world of productivity with AI by your side, I hope that you are feeling a little bit stronger as a result of this. These were just the tip of the icebergs, by the way. There's so much more that AI can do, and I encourage you to boldly experiment and have a blast with it. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. And thanks a million for joining me on this AI-fueled adventure. Stay tuned for more tech-centric videos uh, that are coming your way on this channel. And as always, keep the AI spirit alive. Catch you later, and happy artificial intelligencing. It's a word now.